Okay, uh, one of the most popular and still unbroken algorithm in symmetric key cryptography is known as AES. Uh, so one of the key thing, the first thing that we do once we transform our data in a form of a matrix, let's say, which looks something like this. In AES algorithm, they call it uh, a state matrix. And notice these values that you see, uh, they are on in uh, hexadecimal value. Um, so, uh, so because in AES 128, it will take 128 bit of data and it will process that data and encrypt that data. So that's why a hexadecimal is a four bit number. So each of these boxes or places will represent eight bits. So eight, um, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And 16 times 8 would give me 128 bits. Okay. Um, so once we do that, uh, the first thing that we normally encounter in AES is actually subbyte, subbyte transformation. And normally, the way we do subbyte transformation, we have these called subbyte tables. And we just go through them, look, look at the value, and uh, row and column. And based on that row and column uh, we will just look for a correspondence value and this is how we pick up normally the transformation using as byte uh, as boxes or which is called sub byte transformation but we can also do it mathematically uh, in order for us to do mathematically the first thing i have to do is this so this is the definition so if i want to transform sub byte uh, mathematically without using table this is the first thing I need to do. Uh, first of all, we're going to pick up a value. Uh, so let's say okay, I'm picking up first row, third column. So think of it like this. This is a state matrix, matrix, which is this. Uh, we're going to pick up a row and a column. So let's say we pick up first row and third column. The value that I want to transform is 0C. Okay, 0C. These values are in hexadecimal number. Uh, we want to transform 0C. So what is the first thing I need to do since this is in parentheses? 0C. The first thing I need to do, take a multiplicative inverse of 0C. All right, guys. The first step I need to do is take a multiplicative inverse of 0C. Okay. And then after you take that multiplicative inverse, you need to multiply this value well, multiply whatever that multiplicative inverse is to something which is we are calling it x once i have multiplied this number i'm going to take an xor with some other value which is y once i do all of this then that is the byte which is being transformed into sub byte that is going to act, be going to be the actual value of your sub byte value so the first step is whatever the state matrix is Normally, we have to do it all of them. I'm just going to show you how to transform on one of them. And then the same process will continue for all the bytes, which is in the state matrix. So the first thing I need to do is what? Take a multiplicative inverse of whatever the value that you want to transform. Then you're going to multiply that by some value x. Then you're going to take a xor with some value y. These x's and y's, which I'm calling, these are actually part of the standard. And I will show you in... in, in in, in, in a different part okay so let's start this so let's say this is the value that I want to transform so I'm going to use a pencil because I think I'll be raising a lot of things so let's first of all I know AES uses something called a reducible prime so this is the number that I'm going to use to reduce everything in AES algorithm so this is is x raised to 8 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 3 plus x plus 1 and I'm going to transform the 0C in a polynomial form. All right. So I know 0 and C. So let's write this down 0C. Zero, 0 is just going to be nothing but 0, 0, 0, 0 in bits. And C, what is actually C? C in binary. So 9 and then after 10 we have A. 11 is B. 12 is C. So, so 12 is actually C. So how do I transform 12? 
that 12 is going to be 8 plus 4, 0, 0. All right? So this whole thing, so 0, C, so 0 in, in binary is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. And C, which is actually 12, so let me do it again. A is 10, 11 is, uh, uh, A is 10, B is 11, C is 12. And 12 in binary is 8 plus 4. Since hexadecimal is a 4-bit number, it's going to be 8 plus 4, which is going to be 12. So just like uh, if you want to go ahead and look at my other video uh, uh, on something called, I think I have done it on CRC, where we have transformed bits into polynomial degrees. I'm, ex I'm doing exactly the same thing. So this is just 1. x raised to 0 is just 1. This is x raised to 1. This is x raised to 3, 2, and this is x raised to 3. And none of these matters because they are all 0. So this is going to be x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2. So this 0c, we're just making a transformation, converting 0c from hexadecimal to binary based on that binary value. We are converting that into a polynomial degree. Okay, once I do that, now what is the first thing I need to do? This is this this is the first step we're doing the first step we're doing is actually finding multiplicative inverses which is a very important uh how how to find multiplicative inverse uh, i made a separate video on it you can also go through it uh so let's do it for aes so the first step is finding mi multiplicative inverse all right, what is, how do I actually normally find this? Using extended Euclidean algorithm. Okay, extended Euclidean algorithm says, we have something called Q, we have something called A, we have something called B, we have something called remainder, 